I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got this Eight of Cups. And it's with the Three of Wands. Now, the Eight of Cups... It often means that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, could be a job, or a neighborhood, or some situation. There is some sadness involved when you get the Eight of Cups. But just know that this separation is actually going to be in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you need to get out of a relationship, a job, or a living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue, or somewhere or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Very often one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now it's with this... Three of Wands. With this card, you are likely to find that your finances, they're going much better. In fact, it could feel like it's a time that your ship has finally arrived. So, you're likely to be feeling very strong with a good reason. You could be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. The Three of Wands, it can refer to work. In a very positive way, even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and well-respected. So, Capricorn, Eight of Cups clarified by this Three of Wands for the recent past energy between your, you and your person. The message that I'm getting is that you walked away. Yeah, Eight of Cups is about... Like I said, walking away, withdrawing, moving on, leaving it all behind. And it looks like you went towards, for some of you, you went towards something else or someone else. Or, if it wasn't a person, it was just moving on. Because um, the Three of Wands is, is indicating that you made a decision. You, three of Wands is about making a decision. You're no longer trying to figure out, should you stay, should you go? You've made a decision, and you're going forward. You feel like it's time to get on board. Your ship has arrived. So yeah, a lot of you walked away and left this connection behind. You got on this ship without this person. So, let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up. Now, we got the Three of Cups, and it's with judgment. The Three of Cups is actually considered a card of reunions, but it can be a reunion such as running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for some time. It's considered a happy reunion. Very upbeat. It can mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating a new baby. A new baby. Yeah, maybe celebrating a wedding. Or some really, really happy occasion. Now, it's with judgment, which can be a card about jumping to conclusions and decisions. And, of course, judgments that are made too hastily. And if you know you're prone to doing such things, it could be a sign to slow down. Give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. Yeah, so... The message I'm, that I'm getting, Capricorn, for, for what's coming up, 
Three of Cups, clarified by this judgment. Yeah, I'm picking up for a lot of you. This person is going to want want to come back. Yeah, person that you left behind. They could be reaching out to you. Yeah, because like I said, the Three of Cups is about uh, someone, someone making, wanting to make a return. Yeah, no, it's with judgment, so. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a make or break. Make or break. Um, you, because you're gonna be jumping, you're gonna be, um, very, very judgmental. Very judgmental towards this person. You're going to have a hard time forgiving. And this person, it looks like they want to make a return. They want to come back. Um, the Three of Cups is usually a happy comeback, but it's with judgment. So you're going to be judging them very harshly. Yeah, so... Usually I say, oh, this is a happy comeback together, but judgment is saying, oh, wait a minute here. You want to come back? Well, what about this? What about that that you did? Yeah. It's being very, you're going to be very, very unforgiving. And it's it can, it could cause this up and coming trying to get back together or or them trying to get back into your um world it could cause um this come back together to be at a make or break yeah cuz judgment is it's not it's not easy dealing with someone like that yeah, and you probably, um, you probably have all of the rights to be judgmental. Who knows what this person did that that caused you to walk away? But yeah, here they come, Capricorn. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got the Seven of Swords, and it's with a magician. Now, the Seven of Swords can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or, if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child, who is giving you cause for concern, well, you just might want to rethink the impulse. Because we all know everyone deserves privacy. Now, as with the Magician, the Magician is a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in our world if we simply try. Just know, as a magician, you're not going to have it all handed to you on a plate. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action, so if you do nothing... You'll get nothing, and if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So your challenge, Seven of Swords, coming up with the Magician. It's clarified by the Magician. Yeah, so... Hmm. Yeah, the message that I'm getting for a lot of you, um, yeah, I'm getting your person is going to, even though they see that you're being judgmental and you're not easy to get, to come back to, um, they, I'm, I'm getting with the magician here. Is that they, they want this um, fresh new start with you. Because a magician can be about new beginnings. So, 
They're watching you. Trying to see. Trying to figure out what to do. Because they want, they want to come back. Capricorn. They could be watching your social media accounts. See if you're posting pictures with someone. Someone new or someone that you're dating. Or they could be just driving by just to see if you're, they want to know if you're, if you're still available or if you're with, with someone or just to see it's not it's not bad stalking because this person wants to get back in with you get back in your good graces they want them to try to manifest this to happen again yeah magician is about new beginnings but this person that's coming back they want a fresh new start. If it's not a new beginning, they want to redo it and make it feel like a new beginning. So they're trying to manifest this comeback with you. So they do a lot of watching you. If they might, like I said, they might drive by your house if they if they're in the same state, or or like I said, they could be watching you, your pictures online, just try to see what you're posting. Yeah, they're watching you, Capricorn. They have not left the picture yet. They're still trying to figure out what to do. They realize that you're, it's not going to be easy trying to come back because they see that you're being very judgmental. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Four of Wands and it's with the Six of Swords. Now, the Four of Wands, it can indicate that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So, you want to make sure to go. You're going to have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going really well. You could be... You're going to start to feel proud of yourself. And others will be proud of you also. Now, although this is a positive card you're reading, it does show that there's a need to keep your wits about you. And although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun just know that you're still in the building up phase and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels this card four of wands it can sometimes mean that you, you could be thinking about moving or maybe changing your place of residence now through the six of swords six of swords it can it can indicate some type of movement, maybe metaphorical movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better, whether the context is internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. There is a slight reduction in strain. There's a slight reduction in stress. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. It's about taking this time to get your head above the water. And decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or change of scenery would be helpful when you get the Six of Swords. So your outcome, Capricorn, Four of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords. So like I said, this person, um, it looks like they're going to keep trying. Trying to, trying to come back. Um. They know, they see and feel it from you that it's not easy, it's not going to be easy. So, they're trying to manifest this comeback with you, come back together with you. Yeah. Now, for some of you, I'm just looking at the Six of Swords. For some of you, you're going to try. You're going to try to... To make this comeback happen. But for now you can't help it. But to be. Um, jumping to conclusions. Or starting to think. Things that. Could go wrong. Or things that they might be doing. You, your mind is kind of all over the place. Yeah. But for some of you. You're going to give it a shot. Because I'm just looking at the Six of Swords. It's a card below the word outcome. These two people, they're in a boat. 
They just got out of Raging Waters. Six of Swords is the card. Below the word outcome. They got out of Raging Waters. Now the waters are still and calm. There's no more fights. There's no more jumping to conclusions. There's no more storm. Um, yeah, just they're, they're, they're in the calmer waters. They're not um, fighting. They're kind of like trying to be at peace. That's that's my the Six of Swords is my friend zone card. Some of you will say, "Well, let's see where it goes." You're gonna like put them in a friend zone for now. But deep down inside, some of you want this because the Four of Wands is is the marriage and commitment card. Eleven, eleven. Yeah, some of you want this. And your person, they want it too. They want something more committed. And like I said, some of you are, are going to try. You walked away before, but they're trying to get back in. And some of you are going to say, let's see where it goes. Let's take it slow and let's see what happens because... Deep down inside, you still got feelings for this person. Yeah, I'm just looking at the Four of Wands. They got feelings for you, and you you still got feelings for this person. You don't want to admit it, but you do. Yeah, I'm looking at the Four of Wands, the card. About the word outcome, the way they're looking into each other's eyes. I don't know if you can see their faces, but... Yeah, their smiles and their face is, is glowing like a well-lit Christmas tree. Their hands are wrapped in ribbon. So, yeah. The outcome is showing that, um, yeah, you're just going to try to see where it goes. Or they could be telling you, let's see where it goes. They just, they don't want to be out of the picture. As long as they feel they got their foot in some kind of way, then it gives them hope. So that's the reading, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation and what's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. And staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's gonna pass, and we'll all get through this. So stay strong, take good care, come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles can be switched. You could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you had a wonderful holiday. I'm wishing all of you Happy New Year's. I'm wishing you the very best for 2021. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.